What's up, everybody? Welcome back. We got Atachi, the Uchiha King, on his throne, right? So I tried to fit in as much of him as I could. So that means the head will be quite small, right? Right up here. So I'll have to zoom in. So pencil and eraser. I'm on landscape paper. You hit pause if I go too fast, right? We are gonna start with his eyes. So let's go. So zoom in. Zoop. And then we go top eyelid, right? Up and over. Right, and then it kind of hooks down here and you got to thicken up this line and there are his eyelashes kind of at the back kind of stick out like this All right then the bottom eyelid comes up to there and there might be some eyelashes down here as well, too. So his iris, half circle, coming down from the top eyelid. Like so, and then his pupil, just in the middle. Okay, now if you want, you can add Sharingan. So I'm just gonna do them real small. I'm gonna try and fit it in. So like here. And here, right? And maybe like a line sticking off. Kind of sort of coming around. Difficult to do it real small, but that's the main idea anyway. Make his pupil a little bit bigger just to distinguish. And then you color that red. Then we go over and do the other eye. So it's about eye width, right? So the width of his eye will fit in between both of his eyes. And then you go up and over and again. And then it kind of hooks down. And he's got some eyelash lines just sort of back here. A little bit. I'm just thicken up this. Right, and then bottom eyelid comes across. Roughly speaking, like that. And then his iris half circle again goes down. Right to there. Pupil, like so. Let's try and even these up a little bit. Some eyelashes sticking off here. And then, so we'll add some Sharingan. So just a dot there, a dot there. And then the curved sort of tail on it. Sort of there, and there are some lines that like come around. Hard to see though when you're doing it that small. So his headband then comes across the top, right? Goes underneath his hair somewhere here. And then his eyebrows will come down from there. So, it's spiking. Let's say we'll go here. And then just thicken it up sort of on this end. And then we'll do same thing here. Like that, and then we have an eyelid line from around his eye. Okay, so his nose on the left hand side kind of comes down, joins with, follows the line of the eyebrow, say, 
and then goes down for the bridge of his nose, just here. And then, of course, he has those characteristic lines that come down from his face, like so. And then his nostrils here, here. And his mouth, real flat, sort of unimpressed kind of mouth down in the middle, back up, down to there. And then his bottom lip, just here. Let me make this a bit darker here. Right, so then his chin, just here. So proportion-wise, eyes to nostril, same as nostril to chin, right? Here to here, same as here to here. This distance and this are roughly the same. You have a bit of wiggle room, but that's your rough proportion there for his face. And then nostrils to the bottom lip. Sort of the bottom lip like itself, not the line underneath. But it can be, there's a bit of room. So like here to here, about the same as there to there. Right, so that's about halfway between nostril and chin, right? So that's rough proportions of the human face. So then we will go up. Like so. Don't go as far on this side because it goes under his hair. You can and a raise after if you want, but we'll just. Sort of stop there, right? So we already have a sense now of the shape of his face. Where's my image gone? There. Okay. So top line for his headband is up here, and his hair comes out of it, right? So he's got all these fringe lines. Right. So that's the top line, and then his hair comes out here in the middle, out here, right? And then fringe down like so. Fringe on this side, down to there. And then in between here, we have more headband lines. Right, so just like coming across the bottom here. And then the spiral on the metal plate just down here. So spiral for the leaf, sticks back, pointy nose, and then scrape right through it. Now the rest of his fringe, so it goes up and then kind of cuts off his eye a little bit here. Up to there, down, right? And then you can do the same thing on this side, it doesn't have to be the exact same. Maybe a bit of a thinner one there. Like so. And anything you draw over, you can color over or erase. So then we kind of just go around the bottom then here. This typical Uchiha style hair. These long black sides to their hair here. And then this will go around towards the top of his head. So like how far up you want the head to be, it's about here, right? So chin to the eyes will bring you to where the top of his skull would be. So the eyes are halfway between the top of the skull, the human skull, and the chin when the character is facing forward. So here to here will bring you to about here, right? But the hair grows out. So you've got skin, muscle on top of the head, and then hair grows out. So you, like a little bit more. So you could argue the halfway point is the eyebrow. Okay, so that'll bring it to the top. But just from an anatomy point of view, that's the proportion. 
Okay, so then we'll go around. Down to there. Like so. Right. So that's his hair, but there's some behind his neck, so we gotta draw his neck in. So his neck is like here. And then around. Let's go down to there. And some lines in here. He's got a ponytail, see, behind his head, so kind of hangs down behind his head there. And some like neck muscle lines. Like so. So his trapezius goes in behind his Akatsuki cloak. There. So then. Hood or cloak curves out from there. This goes all the way down to his hands, you know, that he kind of lets one hand sort of hang out. down here somewhere and we'll just get the main parts of his anatomy in right so you know like this and then shoulders so shoulder three heads right so like the width of his face kind of will bring you out to where his shoulder goes down so you have roughly three heads that come across an adult male's proportion three face widths kind of thing when they're kind of standing forward i know his his shoulders are turned forward because his hands are here but it's rough right it's like say the edge of his shoulder there so like face width will bring you sort of the edge of his shoulder face width bring you sort of edge of his shoulder roughly depends on the character's position but it's a good rule of th thumb to keep in mind you don't want like the shoulders to be like way out here or in here you know you want it just roughly the width of his face okay Okay, you don't want to go much further. Right, like this, and his, his, his cloak kind of just hangs down. So this is like the sleeve that hangs, you know. Yeah, there's no arm in there. Okay, and then this one, there is an arm in it, right? So we've got like an elbow turn here. And it comes across. So there's an arm here. And like some armpit lines. There. Right, so we we'll just finish the stuff inside here. So t-shirt. Comes across, it's a V shape. And then we have a necklace and collarbones and things, right? So those necklaces have these like, what would you call them? Eyes or, they look like eyes, kind of three of them. Lemons. <laughs> Let's say they're eyes. And then they're joined by just a string. Across and the collarbone here. And then of course there's that mesh that they wear. that and so his hands right so hands are always tricky i'll just do the red edge just here so it's quite a difficult hand position he's got going on because there's two hands one crisscrosses over another one wrist comes out here so we'll do this one first right so 
say his sleeve. Right, so wrist comes out from the sleeve here and here. Back of his hand comes up right up to the knuckle for his middle finger. There. Knuckles and fingers, three segments. So knuckle, see, two, three, and three segments. So one, two, three. Okay, so we've one knuckle drawn in, right? So we go one, two, three. Right? That's his middle finger, so the index comes out from behind. So we go one, two, three. And this will go like around here. You got a ring on this finger, but we'll draw the finger in first. One, two, three. This one will go in behind the last, like that. Then we go again. One, two, three. And then this curves around once, twice, third time. So his other hand comes out from there. So underneath, down, this is the back of his hand. And it's kind of just hanging down here. And you go again. One, Two, three. One, two, three. These fingers kind of curl more underneath one another, right? So this one kind of, I'll show you what I mean. Two, three, and then one, two. This one will curve three, like around like that. I see it's like curling back, pointing towards him. And then his hand goes up that way. So then these fingers curl in behind here as well. And there's actually a bit of a gap here. So this finger, should we should see there. And then he's got fingernails. So like just these sorts of... Purple painted fingernails. Which is interesting. They never show him painting his nails, but he must do it at some point. <laughs> right? If they ever make a movie just on Itachi. We should see him getting up and like painting his nails. <laughs> okay, uh, the ring on his finger. Circle. Of course, if you draw over any lines, you just erase them or color over them. There. And there's like writing inside, but I can't really make it out, so I'll just do something like that. And then, red line for his cloak comes down here. And. The cloud, the Akatsuki cloud symbol, just comes around like so. Down here. Like a full line that comes across towards his armpit there. So with fabric, you know, there's all these kind of folds and stuff that pull the fabric this way and that. And then this comes around down to there. And then the bottom of his sleeve goes into his finger here, so it's like red in here. And there. So then, like the throne. So basically, you got like a straight line. It can have it has the like dents and stuff taken out of it every now and then, but roughly speaking, it just comes down like this. And depending on how elaborate you want to go, you know, the manga drawing is real nice. So if you want to Google that and add more, like, of the stuff around him, all that symbolism, it's so cool. 
right? And here the arm comes out. I'll just do in the throne just for the purposes of this. And then his elbow is kind of resting on that point. And then the other side goes here. And then this is more of a sleeve, right? And then we have some Sharingan sort of symbols here. Tomei's commas kind of thing. Like that one. Kind of like raindrops or speech bubble shapes. And then there's like all this extra detail just on the edge just to kind of show the stone kind of cracked and beat up and all of that. Sometimes thickening up edge lines. scratches and dirt and all that kind of stuff. So the thicker edge line thing just makes the character stand out a little bit more. It also, it adds an extra line weight to the drawing. So. It just makes it more visually interesting. So your texture lines, like the scratches on the seat there, sort of look more like smaller scratches, kind of just like smaller. Smaller details. It just does something to the eye. Okay. What do you think that'll do? That's how to draw Itachi, the king of the Uchiha. Hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.